Hi, I'm DeCarlos. And I'm Ashley. And we're both reporters on Care 11's TV show, Whatever. We're also both in high school, and we've been riding the bus for a long time, so we don't really think about it too much anymore. But it wasn't always easy. When I first started riding the bus back in kindergarten, I was nervous about what to do and a little scared about saying goodbye to my mom and riding this giant bus all by myself. I can see why anyone would be nervous. The bus is really big. It can move fast and be very dangerous if you don't follow the rules. But going to school is great. It's fun to make friends and to learn about all sorts of cool stuff. We want to help you learn all about how to ride the bus so you can feel confident, have fun, and enjoy your day at school. We care about you and we want you to be safe, so we hope you pay close attention. I love to play basketball. There's nothing like the feeling of running down the court, shooting and scoring points for the team. And when our team wins, we all feel great. But there's one thing about basketball that you need to know. There are lots of rules. And as a player, you need to know the rules and follow them, or you could be sent to the sidelines. The same goes for riding the bus. There are many rules about what you should do and what you should not do. In this video, we're going to talk about some of these important rules. When I'm playing basketball, if I'm ever confused about the rules, I make sure I ask my coach. You should do the same. Talk to your parents, your school teacher, or your bus driver if you don't understand all the bus rules. All those people want you to be safe, and they want to help you. Rule number one. One of the most important rules is stay 10 feet back from the bus. You never want to get too close. If you can touch the bus, then you're definitely too close. So how far is 10 feet? This is 10 feet. 10 feet all the way around the bus is considered the danger zone. When you are waiting for the bus, you need to stand 20 feet back from the roadway or curb. And when you are about to get on the bus, wait for the bus to come to a complete stop. The doors to open, and then wait for the driver to wave you on. Then walk carefully onto the bus. When you are leaving the bus, carefully walk away from it so you're away from the danger zone. If you have to cross any other streets to get home, be sure to stop, look, and listen before you go. Rule number two. Wow, can you believe these moves? This looks like so much fun. But these guys know that there's a time for dancing and a time for keeping still. When riding the bus, it's time to keep still, which brings us to rule number two. Sit in your seat and keep all body parts inside the bus at all times. You should never put your arms, head, or anything else out of the window. If you do and the bus drives close to a tree or street sign, you could get seriously injured. Rule number three. The bus is so big, it's sometimes hard for the bus driver to see you. But it is important for the driver to see you so he knows whether you're safely out of his way when he drives the bus. Next, our friend Neil is going to help show us what the bus driver sees when he sits in the driver's seat. Today, I get to sit where the driver sits and see what he sees when he's driving the bus. The bus has lots of mirrors to help me see what's happening on the sides of the bus. But even those mirrors can't show the driver everything that's going on outside. Say you are about to walk in front of the bus. If you get too close to the bus, the driver can't see you. What you need to do is move far enough in front of the bus so you can see the driver's eyes. If you can see his eyes, then he can see you. Then wait for his hand signal and cross the street. The same goes for along the side of the bus. There are spots along the bus where the driver simply can't see you, even if she is looking in her side mirror. So the important thing to remember is to look the bus driver in the eyes and wait for a hand signal. Rule number four. Never leave the curb. Don't chase the bus. That's great advice. Here's a question for you, DiCarlos. Say you're walking to board the bus, and suddenly the wind picks up, and a piece of paper you're holding flies out of your hands and in front of the bus. What should you do? Well, I know one thing that I would never do. I would never leave the curb to chase a piece of paper. That's right, which brings us to our next rule. Never leave the curb until the bus driver signals you to go. 
I think that instead, I would ask a safety patrol, teacher, bus driver, or other adult for help. Rule number five. Now I have a question for you. Say you're having a bad day, things aren't going your way, and you're running late. You see the bus you're supposed to be riding on take off without you. What would you do? I think I should stop, wave my arms, and yell to the bus driver. That's good. Maybe he will see you and come back to pick you up. But he doesn't see you and keeps on going. Then what would you do? I would ask a teacher or a safety patrol for help. That's right. Never chase a bus. It's just too dangerous. It's not safe to go near a moving school bus. Right. Stay calm, don't panic, and think about what you should do. If you miss the bus, what you need is a backup plan. Rule number six. Christine and her friends are really great cheerleaders. They do flips and stunts that look really cool. But for an acrobatic team, the most important thing is safety. That's right. These cheerleaders always have a backup plan, so if Christine starts to fall, they know what to do to keep her safe. Riding the bus is a big responsibility. And just like Christine and the other cheerleaders, you need to think about how you will handle problems like missing the bus. Talk with your parents about what you should do if things go wrong and you miss the bus. The same goes if you miss the bus on the way to school. Talk with your parents about your backup plan. Having a plan can help you stay calm and remember what to do. A good plan is to go to your school office and call your mother or father. If riding the bus safely seems pretty complicated, don't worry. It gets easier the more you do it. Before we say goodbye, let's review the rules. Rule number one. Stay 10 feet back from the bus. At the bus stop, stay 20 feet back from the road. Rule number two. Once on the bus, sit in your seat and keep everything inside the bus. Rule number three. When you're crossing the street, make sure you can see the bus driver's eyes and wait for the hand signal. Rule number four. Never leave the curb. Rule number five. Never ever chase a bus. And rule number six. Always have a backup plan in case you miss the bus. We care about you and we want you to be safe. Please, follow the rules and ride the bus safely. Goodbye. Bye.